My name is uh, Ken Orlick, and I moved uh, to this area uh, about five years ago. Uh, I live in uh, St. Joe. Moved here because the area is, is really uh, very beautiful, and uh, we, we loved Lake Michigan. My daughter lives in Chicago, and my son lives in Lansing, so we were kind of like right in the middle of the, uh, the two, two towns. So how is uh, the Flint area different than this area? Uh, I think I think there there's a, a lot a lot of similarities. It's it's a it's a one one corporate town. Uh, you, in in the Flint area, you got General Motors. Here you got Whirlpool. Uh, and I think the same same things are uh, same tensions are going on. Uh, in, in the two places in that, that Whirlpool moved out all, all its factories uh, uh, in, in, in this area. Uh, they still have their corporate headquarters and, and really um, they pretty much uh, decide what's going to be done and what's not going to be done in the area. Not, it's not all bad because they do do some, I mean, they, they hire for a community like this, uh, they have about 4,000 workers right here, so that's that's really important. Uh, and, uh, it would be a shame if, if they they were to leave. But I think if you if you can't come from Flint, Flint you know that at any point in time they could leave. Right. So uh, uh, so we just we just wonder about how strong their their feelings are for the community here. What made you decide to come out and join this? Uh, protest today. Uh, well, I think I think I'm, I'm really upset over the uh, uh, the what Snyder's doing. Um, I'm upset about you know just sort of taking over the city of Benton, Benton Harbor with this uh, emergency um, uh, financial uh, manager type thing. And I, and I in fact I know Flint went through that. And I'm, I'm not uh, against. I'm not against this, but this new law goes even farther. It takes everything away from the people that are, are elected. It's like they don't even exist anymore. And I think I think that's bad. The other thing is, they were talking about um, uh, uh, taxing taxing retired people. Well, I'm a retired person. You know, Republicans are supposed to be no new taxes. Well, now it's no new taxes except for retired people. You know, so well, or I mean, the only people left with pensions are our public workers or unionized workers, both of whom, yeah. you know, yeah. is a, a favorite technique to divide working class people anyway. Yeah, I think I think the the whole thing is is that uh, uh, here in here in this community, and I think somewhat in Flint, in Detroit. I mean, it's like it's, it's like the whole state of Michigan, really. Uh, there, there is a, a kind of the racial tension, the race card. It's always there. I think uh, lately, because of the high unemployment and everything, it's it's been just more tense, yeah. more more to the forefront. Yeah. Uh, but uh, my my son told me told me that uh, you have to realize uh, that this area is really kind of off the beaten path for Michigan. Yeah. Uh, the people around here identify with Indiana and they identify with Chicago more than Detroit and Lansing. Our, our, our uh, uh, radio and television is all, all geared to the Chicago area. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us don't, we, we, a lot of the people that aren't really interested Kind of lose contact yeah. uh, with, with the state. Yeah, it becomes easier but, to do. But, but you know, I know the same things are going on in Detroit. Yeah. Uh, uh, the mayor mayor uh, of, of Detroit is threatening threatening people that if, if they don't give up their their benefits, their salaries, that they're going he's going to have a, a emergency manager come. It's in. a big uh, leverage uh, play. Yeah, we Let's better get over. Thanks, Ken.